Announcing that you are proficient in Microsoft Suite. Okay. <laughs> A hiring manager typically spends five to seven seconds glancing at your resume. That's right, seconds. Not fair here, I know. That is not enough time to make a good first impression, which is why you need to fix these issues on your resume. In this video, I'll be sharing with you eight things you shouldn't do on your resume. Hi, this is a fun app and I help young professionals secure their dream jobs, gain clarity and take ownership of their careers. If this is your first time on this channel, you're welcome to my little corner on the internet. Kindly click the subscription button and also the notification button as well. If you are a returning subscriber, I am so grateful you're here again. You're on the job hunt. You've been searching job boards connecting with friends and families, and even professional contacts, reaching out to placement agencies. Now you just need to update your resume so you can land your dream job. Before you make those few verb changes in your role descriptions, these are mistakes you need to avoid on your resume. Number one, one for all. Using one resume to apply for all job openings, irrespective of the industry or the job role, is what I call one for all. This is a journey towards getting your dream job. You don't have to be bleep about it. It has to be taken seriously. It's your career. Act like it. Frame your resume to suit the job position and job description. Number two, listing every job experience you've ever had. Hiring managers want to see specific skills you've learned from your previous job that directly relates to the job you're applying for. Highlight what you've accomplished to demonstrate why you are the best fit for the job. Mistake number three, Web space with an objective and reference request. This outdated resume component is only necessary if you're changing industries. If you're not, you're just wasting space. Instead, consider a personal branding statement, AKA summary statement. Use your resume to tell the hiring manager who you are as a professional before you even step your foot in the building. Be yourself, but be appropriate. And if you're asked to provide reference, do it. And if you're not, Mistake number four, plagiarizing the job description off the company's website and onto your resume. Don't plagiarize on your resume. A job description is a helpful starting point, but you don't want to hijack all the phrase from the company's website to your resume. Instead, show some creativity by finding new ways of explaining how your skills match with what the employer is looking for without using all the same terms from the description. Include some keywords that the applicant's tracking system can easily locate. Mistake number five, using verbs that are weak or unoriginal. Responsible for, led, save, increased. Are you asleep yet? You might be. Jazz up your role descriptions with words that will pack a punch. You'll be amazed at how different you come across on paper as well as the impact that confidence will have when you make it to the interview. Mistake number six, announcing that you're proficient in Microsoft Suite. Okay, everyone is. Five-year-olds know how to use Microsoft Word and Excel these days. Instead, list position applicable programs. You're applying for a marketing job, Hotsuite, Canva, and the likes. You're applying for human resources. You should know how to use HRIS. Those programs mean you know how to do tasks directly associated with the position you're applying for. Even if you get to list Microsoft Suite on your resume, let it be secondary. Mistake number seven, forgetting to list volunteer work or personal achievements. Uh, this is a tricky one though, because you only get to list these things if what you gain from them directly relates to the position you're applying for. If not, the hiring manager won't care. Mistake number eight, Making your resume look like everyone else's. Again, this is your career, so you have to act like it. Don't be lazy. Do not be lazy. Stand out from the crowd by deviating from the standard resume format and doing something interesting. However, this has to be done professionally and appropriately. If you do not have the design skills to make the necessary changes, contact a professional. Now, this is where I market my skills. If you need a standout resume, I am your person. 
my business email you'll find in the description below so there you have it eight mistakes you should avoid on your resume finding a new job can be a stressful process but you can ease that burden by making sure your resume is polished and ready to send out your resume should exemplify who you are as a professional and what you bring to the position being advertised again it's your career act like it if you find value in this video kindly subscribe like and share comment and turn on the notification button as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video